Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Al Bashai Bashim Rakak Badash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations unto my fellow laborers. The confusion of faith brothers joined into our ranks, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the hopefully elect, the Akwaf that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm. We're coming at you with another lesson. Uh, this is a very important lesson. This story is not being talked about. <clears throat> but um, this is one of the plagues that has now hit Babylon. And Esau is aware of it. Um, the Ebola is a worldwide epidemic. And they're being quiet. They're not, talk they're not disclosing it at all. And one of the things that they're doing is they're showing you how it's changing the pupils and the eyes. It's hiding. The reason why the eyes are on the screen is because that's where it's hiding out at. People are testing negative, and it's finding out that the virus is hiding in the eye, which is a part of the body, where they actually become a carrier. And if you remember the movie uh, 28 Days Later, that's exactly what happened with the with the uh, mother and the son. They were carriers of the uh, of the disease, but not affected by it. So this is all predictive programming. All right, that's exactly what happened in 28 days later, and it dealt with the military, and it spread among the military. And right now, they uh, they had a ship that was out to seas, you know, for I believe five months. It was quarantined, and the reason that was gave, and they didn't even really talk about it, but the reason that was gave was that it was uh, mumps and measles. But that's like one of the first shots that you get when you go into the military. So anyone who's been in the military. Uh, the first shot, some of the first shots that you get in processing is, is against the mumps and the measles. All right, so there wasn't the mumps and the measles. They lied. But let's uh, get a description. What's happening is Esau's system is just failing. And he's being caught. He's being made bare. But this is uh, Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Rejoice, ye heavens that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. And this is Esau, this is this is Esau implementing his uh his King Alpha Rex 84. Alright? You know, that that like the thing that's written on those stones in uh the Georgia Guidestones. His 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 goal and his desire is to bring uh, the population down to five hundred million. Alright, so that means Esau plans to kill 6.5 billion people. And he's going to actually start implementing that plan. But the truth is that that's, that's Yahweh's plan. The Most High. That's why so many souls on earth because the time of judgment is upon us. Alright, they don't want a mass panic. So in the, midst, in the midst of having World War III, in the midst of failing economies, in the midst of starving people. Alright, they're afraid that this might be among the homeless in L.A. already in different parts of the states. All right, so let's let this video, uh, a little bit of this video play. There is a story going on in the world right now that the powers that be are keeping buried from you. They're keeping it hidden. And it's going to lead to a certain series of events that I'm going to try to cover in today's video. And it's fairly disturbing shocking but i want everyone within the sound of my voice to react calmly and in a way that will help the situation and not exacerbate it now the first place we're going to start with this is here now i know you're thinking wait a minute why are you talking about this well it goes to the idea that you can use the internet to take an idea and make it run to the point where the entire world sees it. This was just a simple picture of an animal that had an underbite. But I very much doubt there is anyone in this country who doesn't know who Grumpy Cat was. And he just died, the reason I'm talking about this. It is possible to get a message out without it having to go through the gatekeepers of the R and the D. There are those that choose to go through the R and the D in politics, 
meaning the Republicrats. But it's not necessary. Now, these two individuals have been brought to me multiple times as possible solutions for what's happening in the world. If these two individuals were to run as independents, meaning run on their own, admitting that the DNC and the RNC are part of the problem, they cannot be allied with, they cannot be worked with, they need to be gotten rid of then the Florida Maquis would be on board with Tulsi Gabbard and Andrew Yang as independents. Especially if Miss Gabbard would remember who she was when she was Specialist Tamayo. Because I think that version of her would be much better for America than Major Gabbard is now. Now, Mr. Yang is an interesting individual. And I've done a little bit of cursory research on him, and I think he has some good ideas. But one of his best ideas is cryptocurrency. And I made a post last night at the Communities tab about that. We're going to cover that in a minute, but that's going to take us further down the road to the initial picture that I started with. See, in this that Twitter post that was attached to that picture... The very first comment, at least that I can find. Okay, let's jump ahead. Whatever. Meteorology worked wonders for me. Clearly, my face Damn was commercial, inflamed. So it was red. I had cystic. Where your saving is, whatever you're, you know, put it in crypto so that it maintains its, its, uh, value. Granted, a lot was said in that first, uh, portion, though, because what he was telling you was that these two candidates, that everyone's making all this that's making all these waves, they can't do anything, change anything in a system that's broken. That's what he was trying to tell you about. He was calling it the R, the Republicrats, because the Republicans and the Democrats are in this thing together to destroy and bring down America, to, to bring in a new world order. All right? That's what he was trying to say. For those of you that went over your head, I just wanted to help you out. Tell you, but what does this have to do with the secret? This is the secret. It's back, and it's back with a vengeance. Yep. And the worst part of it is they can't test for it anymore. The tests don't work anymore. You can go in, and you can get a blood test, and it'll show you completely free of Ebola, and you'll still have it hidden in parts of your body that are beyond the bloodstream. This is what happens with rabies. It's morphed. Ebola has morphed into something that can be um, hidden in different parts of your body, different tissues that don't necessarily reveal themselves in the bloodstream. And it's very transmissible. And one of the greatest ways to do it is through Paper money. So this this is proven, and that's another thing that they're going to help. This is going to help usher in the mark of the beast. All right, in Revelation the thirteenth chapter, you will not be able to. As a matter of fact, let me just read it, okay? Because they're gonna they're gonna blame they're gonna um, blame the transmission of this disease, which can't be stopped, which can't be detected, even when you take the test to say you clear on um, money. This is Revelation thirteen. Uh, and I'm going to start at verse 16. And it says, And he calls up all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of man, and his number is 603 score and 6. All right, that's that 666. And what they're going to do is they're more than likely, they're going to put the Ebola virus on money and just put it into population and people that are using it, buying, selling, and trading are going to start to get sick and cause a, 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 a panic. And people are going to take the chip. This is a part of their plan. I don't know if it's the full plan, but it's definitely a part of it. All right, which leads us back to this. All right, leads us right back to this. 
you can't fix or get around this thing. All right, you can't detect it anymore. All right, which also leads us back. Let's uh, click on back to the next video. It isn't difficult to see what's happening. We are being told one thing and we are hidden from what's actually going on. It's unfortunate that so many people just believe whatever they are told. If we simply calculate the figures based on the methods from a few decades ago, we would point to recession. Today, however, we don't need reality. All we need is a printing press, right? You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we are going to look at the serious economic issues that are going on, particularly in the United States, but I'm also going to touch on Spain. We're looking at the same issues which apply all around the world. So not only is the disease a worldwide disease because they lost control of it, so it's out of the Congo into different African nations, into Europe and now here in America. A doctor here in America tested positive after uh, being clear of it a whole year. Why? Because it was hidden dormant in his eye. Alright, so all these things are happening all at the same time. And of course, you're too distracted with Cardi B, you know, Jordans and, and just a bunch of Beyonce and all this, the Kardashians and all these things that do not even matter. Prince, Prince uh, uh, Harry and William and their children and that whole sort of thing. Things that are not important at all. Meanwhile, Esau is being made bare. He is, matter of fact, let's get that. This is uh, Jeremiah 49 and 10. This is, but I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his, his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. So this is all a distraction from the truth, from what's going on and what's about to happen. All right, what's actually happening, man. And and I highly suggest that any brother who has not seen Brightburn, go and get it. Yeah, how is my witness? I swear there are things in that movie <laughs> that that only you hear talked about amongst the camps of great of the Great Millstone. And some of the things that I've personally said for years about, you know, about dreaming about the spiritual power and the new body, some of the very things that I've said for years were in that movie almost to the word. Man, they are watching the Great Millstone from the apostles on down to the to the newest camps, to the newest brothers. They are watching. All right? And Esau time is, is nearly up. Like I said, his his system is falling underneath him. Ford is giving it's a rumor that Ford is expected to lay off twenty thousand more people. On top of the 7,000, they already uh, 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 just laid off. You know? This 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 thing is rapidly coming to an end, man. Rapidly. And Esau just... He, he, he doesn't know... Things are happening so fast that he doesn't know how to respond to them. He doesn't know how. Right? And the fact that he is Esau even. Alright? He can't deal with that. This is uh, Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people the, and the veil that is spread over all nations, man. So not only and not only are the nations being revealed and Esau Edom being revealed as the so-called white man, but all his plans are also being revealed. All right. The things that he's trying to do are also being revealed. And there isn't a bright future, though they look out the window, though it be darkened. All right, roughly paraphrase Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. All right, so we're rapidly and quickly coming to an end of this thing. Um, food, food levels are, are, at, at, uh, are at around 30% when they're normally at 60% planted. So we're looking at major food crisis, not only in here in America, but around the world. You got these crazy weather patterns, not only in America, but around the world. America's mid midsection, the... Uh, where, where the majority of our food is grown is, is uh, three to four feet underwater. Okay? The crazy tornadoes and weather that are killing people all over the place. Time is short, man. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashan Abishai. Wa Ababa Ba.